FPS per minute. Take another look at your flying. I get the idea. He feels invincible, but some he's another. Yeah. You just get the chain CC right there. Afraid you get dragged. Everyone over for this as well. Ended up getting repelled, losing it in the end. And it just ends up being a bit of a disaster. Okay, thinking about moving forward, but can you spot it out there? The way it will be pushed. You have red barrels here on the wreck side. Will they ascend bottom lane? Looks like maybe they were thinking about it, but not going to happen. Still a decent amount of trading up here on the top side, but there's enough shields and heals to really keep any action at bay. Echo! Totally Turtle Belt first item is a, a bit surprising. Obviously, he utilizes it for the utility, but he's not really accelerating in this game. Just has the revolver right now. No kidding, that Syndra is sitting pretty. Even after that Fox Shirley game. And Dread not achieve anything on the Lee Center here. They have Lee Sinner on one side, and they have Sin right. on the other oh, side. Oh, I see what you did. Yeah, but Sin is not really a Sinner. Oh, no. But it's Sinner. Sort of. Valdez, sort of. It's spelled differently, so Sinner. Oh, okay. I thought it would be the same, but not quite. We finally have the Rift Herald put down in the mid lane. I don't know why he watches this lane, honestly. I'd much rather see this, as Showmaker is going to... Really just dominate in the mid lane here. Dread can help push out the lane. Oh, now we finally have some action coming down. But the follow up poke from Ben with the Manager Cube is enough to push Nuclear back so that he does not follow up on his Moonlight. And we are. We are I think that we are witnessing a don't want to go versus afraid. <laughs> Match here. <laughs> Always fearful. Always fearful, man. This. <laughs> I love don't, don't want to go. This. <laughs> <laughs> they really don't want to go. They're just, they're just sitting there. Well, we're in a long state. Of oh, epic big proportions. Big. Yeah. Jelly picked, picked up by Syndra. I thought this was going to be good after our action early on in the game. That didn't, didn't happen. happen. They, they didn't, didn't want to go. Popped <laughs> in the ship. Yeah, I know. Like, I thought <laughs> we were going to the ship. They were talking about it so much. And then absolutely nothing happened. Just more posturing around. Jungle camps up, by the way, for Dread. And in a lane without minions, for some reason, we were standing in the river. Praying that the opponents would make a mistake so that we're able to commit a game. So now he's going to return to his jungle. Likewise, Rexai has some jungle camps up as well. As we're going to continue to play ping pong, Valdez, and I, I can see the smile on your face. <laughs> I, it's kind of like I'm in that vacation mood where you know there's a ping pong table by the pool. You're you're sitting in your bathing suit, you got a towel nearby, maybe a pina colada. Non-alcoholic for the, you know, the underage yeah. kids in the, in the collective. Right. And you're just sitting back and you're just chilling. Playing some ping pong with one hand. You're sitting in the sun, you're relaxing. Okay. That's kind of what we're doing right now. This is very relaxing. Look at those rec side tunnels. All right, well, it's light coming down here now. Do you think oh, something's going to happen? I think it might. Why is going to try to make it happen, but Nuggery says, I, I see your circle. I'm not happy about it. Okay. Well, and in a showmaker now, they might finally do something. They're looking to capture some real estate, make an investment into the mid tier one turret. Nice. They nice. got it. Yeah. Investing in a little time share on the beach. Successful. I like it. As Dread. Has, has to be really careful right now. Cinder can actually, I believe, 100% him. If she, if she lands the sun while having another orb out. Oh, dang it. He's, He's got to get out of here. Why was going in and then he decided, actually, no. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I forgot that it's uh, before 20 minutes, so we gotta keep our screws up. No rest for any in effects in this game. Alright, well, we just wanna farm up two items first, and then they'll be allowed to fight. Yes. So we're just waiting. And right now, I mean, there's, there's nothing to really do. You can't just arbitrarily start the rare tail, although the next I might try after eating wolves and drop. Never mind, I'm gonna do it before eating those camps. Oh, yeah, they do that all the time. It's up and they just go there. And, like, no, I just gotta do it now. I think that they know that they can maybe do this, given that they think that a freak is bot lane is resetting, which they are. And they probably don't anticipate anything happening. He's about to cast Warbender and start running at the squirrel. That might have interrupt the peace we going. Yeah, there's actually a peace tree everywhere. Now, I think Thuggery senses that something might be aloof. Dread, do the Gromp. What? <laughs> oh, okay, he's got a Leech Blue. He's a Leech Blue. And then he should do the Gromp. Are you kidding? <laughs> no. He's, he's got to clear out this. Now Atrox, Atrox is coming over to Leech. And then you'll, okay, you kill the Gromp. Up there. And now he's going to pause it the angry salesman. <laughs> Literal shopkeeper. <laughs> Alright. Well, at this point, Morel and Omicron completed for the cannon. And nothing else is going to really transpire. We do have a mountain dragon coming up very soon. We have surely so. We do have curling. Now, this is what all the build-up has come for. 17 and a half minutes, Ezreal without his core item completed. Okay, that is just like a dome bond here. He doesn't even get to go in on that one, as he's just gonna get popped and disappear. And so it looks like Afrika, with the enemy having their jungler down, should be able to put this one, as Mystic guys in the mid lane just gets blown up by Syndra. He has his flash and his heal available. He probably got stunned into one combo. Yeah. And just like that, he's going to be an out drink and trade for a tier two in the mid lane. Oh. Okay, he's trying to get on top of Showmaker here. He's going to immediately get out. And so they end up losing the Mountain Dragon to Afrika, who some of their champions do build resistances. Obviously, Ezreal goes Trinity Force here, not going to have access to the Ice War Vault in this game, but. It is a nice little pickup, considering... Okay. Uh, oh, I got it. <laughs> nice. So, you can make sure to get that champion in the Riot store. Yes. As uh, well as the Sode Cinder skin. Oh, that's the best one. That really is. Yeah. Especially if you're a Showmaker fan. You can be a Snowmaker if you buy that skin. Yeah. Only $9.99. Oh, wow. <laughs> I actually don't know how much it's uh, Yeah, I have no idea either. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. My little business venture there. Not working out. Hit it, BB. I, I get it. <laughs> you got it? Alright. So good. <laughs> <laughs> Dread waiting in the bush, a true ninja. Oh, oh he's thinking about it. No, nope. he's gonna back away. Trying to bait him in here is keen. Nuggery, not gonna bite me. at you. Yeah. Because no. <laughs> you heard my joke. Yeah, you heard that you, you thought that <laughs> there was gonna be a fight. <laughs> oh, man. We had Brexit, and then Ezreal died, so we had some stuff happen. Okay. Dredd's found an angle here, but he isn't really gonna find it. Ben trying to make his way down. Dredd, extremely low. He's gonna have to get out of there, but he gets flashed on, and he didn't expect the Karma to come in. Will be locked down, but do they have the damage? Yes, they do. As Dredd is just barely gonna get out of there. Three on one, things going on the Baron. But we'll see if they can actually pull this off. They Whoa. will start it. It's 20 minutes, so it's just long. And we'll see if Afrika even has any inkling that this is happening. No, they don't. They're gonna get the bad news though. As Goblin 
are going to capture Baron Nasher, get the buff, and it was all just a part of the plan by Dunbury. Yep. That's what you do. You become a little squirrel, you get global taunts, and then you just get everybody down in your lane so that your team can win. It's like the solo key moment where it's like, why do we send three people bottom lane? You're so dumb. Well, you can see Ben running over, trying to help out. Slice Mail Strong trying to get the sun lock everyone up, but a keen on that world ender. Able to eventually get there. Take the turret aggro so Dread ends up living. Minions are so afraid of what they saw. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'd be scared of the too. And it really just looks like Damwon is going to run away with this game, even though Atrox is super massive. Just nothing else is really happening. Fly has been a fly on the wall in this game. Mystic is non-existent in this game yet again. And you have to wonder what has happened or what is really just going awry because he was Afrika's primary carry for their first few series and now he's just been falling. Which is very surprising. Yeah, that is true. So we'll see if he can pull it together here. Usually at this time with two items, Trinity Force, the Ezreal comes online and they start poking the enemy down. They start being a huge nuisance. But he hasn't really had much of a presence in all of these fights, especially after Showmaker took him down so easily. Mountain Drake coming up here in 30 seconds, only two away for down one. And, okay, Keen with Barrel down here. It's a lot of posturing, and had Canyon not gotten caught out before, this could have been Mountain Soul. But Damwon, with the Baron, they're not going to do anything with it other than just accelerate their gold advantage ever so slightly. Although we might oh, have a fight ben. brewing. Ben is dead, and now they have the wraparounds here trying to get the 